What's up, spooky people? It's time for another episode of the Spooky Corner. And today, we're gonna be talking about people who've had sex with ghosts. I have had sex with a ghost, ghost, ghost. Believe it or not, there are actually people out there who claim that they've either had sex or they are currently having sex with ghosts. I know, as crazy as that sounds, but it's true. I've been dying to make this video for you for a minute now. Trust me, you are in for a treat. Things are about to get real freaky right now. So I first came across this whole crazy ghost sex phenomenon when I stumbled upon this video of this woman who claims that she's given up men all together to have sex exclusively with ghosts. She says that this all started a couple of years back when she was with her fiance at the time. And her fiance would often go on like these business trips that would last a week or two weeks, maybe more. And while she was alone in the house, she would often feel this presence around her. But this presence didn't scare her. She wasn't afraid. You weren't scared by it. It never felt scary. It felt comforting if anything. Her and this presence must have been flirting and they must have been building a relationship as time went on. Even when it came up behind you and you could feel its breath on your neck, yeah. that still didn't freak you out. Not at all. No. Listen, the ghost saw an opportunity and he was obviously getting ready to slide in there. He knew what it was. He knew what time it was. Eventually things got hot and heavy in their relationship when the woman ended up taking things to the next level when she went into the spare bedroom one night wearing a sexy outfit so that she could lay on the bed and wait for her ghost friend to arrive. I did, yes. You know what, at least she did it in the spare room. She didn't do it in her and her fiance's bed. That would have been a lot more disrespectful. And she laid there for a little while. She was about to give up hope, but then all of a sudden. Just as I'd given up hope and was starting to fall asleep, it came to me. And what and happened? What happened? Uh, I had sex with the Is ghost. With the ghost? Yeah. Yes. Bang! And after that, they were having sex on the regular. They were doing it all over the house, all the time when the fiance wasn't there. But eventually, she got caught red-handed when her fiance came home early from one of his business trips. Apparently, he says he saw a, the shape of a man through the spare room window when he pulled up. Can you imagine what kind of conversation must have went on between those two? A ghost. Okay, don't play me. I saw somebody here. Who the hell were you with? Is he in the closet? No, not like is he gay, like, like is he in our closet? It was a ghost. All right, you know what? Later, ho. After she got caught cheating, her and her fiance split up, and I'm sure she was not upset about that at all. I think that's exactly what she wanted, because then she renounced any and all men. She stopped having any kind of sexual relationships with living men, and she only laid down with the ghosts after that. Is that right? <laughs> it is, yes. Yeah, I would never, I've got no interest in men now. What's even crazier is, as of the date that she was on that show, she had had sex with 15 different ghosts. How the hell does that even happen? How do you have access to that many spirits? Like, what is she doing? Does she have like the, the Danny Phantom ghost portal in her room, just letting them all through, letting them hit? And how do you even tell the difference from one spirit to the other one if you can't see them? Like, what are their size differences? You know, one, are some bigger? Do some last longer in the bed than other ones? She claims that she can tell the difference though. So you can just feel different presences, so it's different not, personalities. It's not, it's not the same one coming back 20 times. No. She also goes on to say that she eventually wants ghost babies. Would you like to become pregnant with this? Yeah. How that's supposed to happen, I don't know. Are these spirits supposed to like ejaculate some kind of, some kind of ectoplasm inside of her? I don't think that's gonna get anybody pregnant. Obviously, after I watched this clip, I was just like left with so many questions. Like, is this even real? Did they pay this lady to come on the show and say this so they can get a good segment and they can get viewers? Does she really believe this? Was she hallucinating? Did she really have sex with a ghost? Like, I didn't know what to think, but I wanted to know if other people have had the same experience. So I looked it up, I did some research, and obviously, like I said in the beginning, there are multiple people who've claimed that they have had the same thing happen to them. 
Take this clip, for example, from 1988. So this is way back in the day. This was on the Oprah Winfrey show when this old woman came on and talked about her experience. She basically said the same thing as the first lady, that she was feeling a presence in her house, although she was not really uh, comfortable with it. And one night she woke up in the middle of the night and next thing she knows. I was in the midst of a very intensive sexual experience. I saw nothing. Mm -hmm. I, th th there, there was nothing that I could put my hand on. What got me though was even a bunch of celebrities have come out over the years and have talked about their experiences. Pop star Kesha, probably one of the most famous cases of this because she wrote a song about it. Kesha came out and talked openly many times about the time that she went to the bone zone with a ghost. I did go to the bone zone with a ghost. Old school R&B and pop star Bobby Brown talked about the time that he was apparently raped by a female ghost one night. I woke up and yeah, a ghost. I was being mounted by a ghost. Ironically, when he was shooting the movie Ghostbusters 2, Lucy Liu from Kill Bill, she gave a glowing review about the great night that she had with a spirit. Anna Nicole Smith said that she was having sex multiple times with a ghost while her boyfriend slept next to her. And funny thing is, she told him about it, but he didn't believe her, so she was like, whatever, I'ma keep doing it. Listen, if this is real, then there's definitely some upsides to having sex with a ghost. I mean, first of all, you can definitely just throw away the condoms. You're not gonna need those. Everybody hates using them. They suck with people. You gotta use them. You don't know what they got. But with a ghost, you don't have to. Unless there's some kind of crazy ghostly STD that we don't know about. And the other thing is, if you somehow make it through life without ever getting laid once, then it looks like there may be a chance for you in the spirit world. So that's great. But is this real or is this a bunch of bullshit? Well, I got three different theories on what could actually be going on. Theory number one is that this could actually be a ghost. That spirits have the ability to have sex with people. If you believe in ghosts and the paranormal, then this is not a hard theory to believe. Number two, and this is a lot more scientific, and this is one that a lot more people will probably point to as the actual, as the actual reason, and that this is nothing more than sleep paralysis. I've talked about sleep paralysis a couple of different times on my channel, but for those of you who don't know what it is, sleep paralysis is basically when people wake up in the middle of the night during a deep sleep, and when they wake up, they cannot move their body. They can see things, they can hear things, but they can't move their body. And while they're in this state, they are obviously in a great deal of fear. And since they have this adrenaline and this fear going off in their brain, then they say that people may start to hallucinate and see things that aren't there, hear things that aren't there, and in this case, maybe feel things that aren't there. This can be a great explanation to what this is, and I gotta say that in the first clip of the first, the first woman, she did say that she was drifting off to sleep when the first experience happened. Although, again, she did say that she was feeling presences and stuff around the house before and after the first experience while she was wide awake. And lastly, number three, this theory says that these people are being visited by demons. But not just any kind of demon, these are special sex demons that are known as succubuses and incubuses. Succubuses being female demons that like to attack men, and incubuses being male demons that like to attack women. And they say that these demons like to come to people as they're already laying in their beds, drifting off to sleep, or already asleep. Sometimes they come to people looking real sexy, and they seduce their victims into doing it. Although, if they seduce their victim, is it really a victim? I think it's just a willing participant at that point. And sometimes they're not so nice, and they are, they may be hideous looking creatures, you may not be able to see them at all, but they basically just surprise people and take what they want while their victim just lays there paralyzed in fear. 
The crazy thing is these things have actually been talked about and written about for many, many, many years, going way back to like biblical times. Like these things have been talked about and written about in ancient Sumerian texts, in the Jewish religion, in Greek mythology, in all these different cultures and religions and countries around the world. It's pretty fascinating, honestly, because I didn't even know about this till I started looking up you know, stuff for this video. So I was caught off guard with this one. Apparently succubuses and incubuses are still rolling around because I had a great time reading stories about uh, modern day encounters with these things. Why these demons would want to be having sex with humans is up for debate, but some say that they may be doing it so they can draw energy from people and they may go to the same victim over and over again so they can keep drawing out their energy till they literally exhaust them to death. All I gotta say is that may not be a bad way to go as long as it's the good looking ones. And others say that they do it so they can make demon babies. Like they extract the semen from a man and they put it in a, it's, it's a whole complicated thing. I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole right now, but it's, it, it's nuts. Either way, it's not good and you would probably not wanna be visited by these things at night, unless you're into that kind of stuff. But anyway, those are the theories, and I guess, like, we'll never really know exactly what these people are experiencing. The only way to truly know is to have the experience yourself. And apparently there are ways that you can have this ghost sex experience and, and bring it to you. Listen, I would not be opposed to it at all. The only thing is, I think the only spirit around me is the ghost of my grandpa, so obviously that's not happening. I'll have to go to another location and see what's going on over there. And that's really all the information I got for you on this crazy, fascinating topic. You let me know six feet deep below in the comment section what you think about this. What do you make of this? Can this be a thing? Do you believe in it? Is it sleep paralysis? You let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. Personally for me, I believe in ghosts and hauntings and possessions and stuff like that. So obviously it's not hard for me to believe that this could actually be a, be a thing. Not saying that this is the, the end all be all and this is the case for every experience, but for some of these, this may be real. So that's all the time I got today for the Spooky Corner. Make sure that if you liked the video, you actually give it a like, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell while you're at it. And of course, come back next time for some more spooky stuff. Oh man, I can't wait for summer to be over for real. Like I am sweating my balls off right now. It's 90 degrees outside and it's probably like 140 in this room. You can probably see like the sweat in my hair while I'm shooting this video. It is so hot. But I just want to take this time, if you've made it this far, what up? I just want to say real quick that if you haven't noticed already, we, we're on the road to 100 subscribers. Right now, I'm at 70, and that means we only got 30 more till we hit a hundo. So, if you've been watching up to this point and you haven't subscribed already, if you've been creeping around and joined the videos but you haven't hit the sub button, then make sure that you hit the sub button and the notification bell because I'm putting up videos pretty much every week, as you can see, and Halloween is right around the motherfucking corner. Halloween is right around the corner, baby. So that means that we're going to be doing some great stuff for the Halloween season that you're not going to want to miss out on. So let's get to 100 and let's get ready for Halloween season. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if, you've been, if you're already subscribed to and you've been watching for this long, thank you. I hope you've been enjoying this stuff. And just let me know if you want to see anything. Let me know if you want to see any type of video. Just hit me up in the comments, hit me up on my Facebook, let me know later.